Every week, the experts at Superior Pools of Southwest Florida share the latest trends in outdoor living spaces, including custom designs, ideas, and innovations. Watch this inspiration and transformation come to life thanks to our expert opinions and tips, and improve your own outdoor paradise. This is Home Sweet Home, presented by Superior Pools. Welcome to the Wachowski residence in the beautiful city of Northport, Florida. Hi, we're the Wachowskis. I'm Mike and this is my wife. Debbie. <laughs> You're funny. And we live in the uh, community of Grand Paradiso within West Villages. And we moved down here oh, about two years ago. We decided to build a home. And we have a lot of relatives in the area, but we've also lived on a part-time basis uh, before we moved down here full-time. So we, we enjoy the area and uh, we just decided uh, that we wanted to build a house and uh, build our own pool and this is the area we chose. I've been coming down here since the 1960s so I always fell in love with the area. Uh, I have a lot of family down here. Uh, matter of fact, that's how Mike and I met. We came down here to visit our parents and I sat next to him on an airplane on our flight back to Michigan. So that was 25 years ago, and now we're a full-time residence, both retired down here in Florida. And we love it. Yeah. <laughs> Probably our favorite thing to do, um, besides our wonderful pool, is that we like to, um, we've met so many wonderful neighbors in our, in our, in our community. And uh, we're all so much alike because we're all roughly the same age and we're all retired. We even take two week cruises together. We have another one planned uh, next February. Uh, we, you know, we like to go out to the beach mm -hmm. on, uh, and watch sunsets every Sunday at Venice Beach. And uh, probably Mike's favorite thing is we do what's called pool hopping. We have three pools here and Everyone comes, starts at one pool and goes to the next, and before you know it, we have, you know, three couples sitting in the hot tub in the evening. And that this pool makes it perfect for that because, you know, it, the whole outside is lit up, and it's just, and you put that fire pot on, and you get the hot tub going, and it's just, you yeah. know, some people will sit just here, because some people don't like to get in the hot tub. But that's probably our favorite thing to do. We've uh, been here a couple of years now and uh, prior, probably about six months after being here about six months, we decided that we wanted a pool and uh, we weren't sure whether we wanted to do a spa or just a pool, but uh, luckily we decided uh, to, to do both. And I did a lot of research on just looking at pictures, a lot of designs. We wanted kind of a Roman style pool to match the uh, neighborhood being that it's Grand Paradiso, everything's got kind of a Venetian look to it. So again, I looked at a lot of pictures and uh, brought a lot of pictures to Ben, our salesperson, and he kind of tweaked it a little bit uh, with things that I wasn't really familiar with and some of the, again, the water features. And he just kind of came up with a whole package that we were really happy with. Well, Ben, uh, this pool has a little bit of everything. Uh, I know uh, for design purpose and colors and it took a little bit to put it all together with the homeowner Mike and his wife, but it has to be one of my top five favorite pools because it has everything. All of our different features and I want to first start off with the design of this pool. It touches on the house, it touches on everything. So, Yeah, so definitely with this pool, Mike had a, a really good idea of what he was looking for when we started talking about it. And he definitely wanted a classic Roman type shape to the pool but wanted it different than every other pool that's out there. I want to talk about uh, the fire bowl. I know we always do too. I think it was the first time we've always only did one, right? Yeah. So like you said, that was, that just came to mind like, wow, just one on there and it looks like it's supposed to be there. Yeah. So. It worked out really nice because by having the spa a little bit bigger, because that was another very important feature of this pool was that they could have a, a really good sized spa to fit deep, a lot of people in there because that was going to be one of the main using usable spaces. This kind of offset that they're different sizes, but it doesn't feel that way when you come out here uh, because of that, that raised up bowl on that area. 
People love the lights, especially at night. The lights are beautiful. You turn on the water features, and that was one of my, uh, when we started researching companies, and I knew from looking at pictures, I, had, I knew I wanted some type of water feature. And Ben recommended the, uh, the scuppers right over there. And Debbie, yeah. yeah, Debbie wanted a water pot, and we ended up getting both of them, and they're just fire beautiful pot. on together. Yes, fire pot. But yeah. I said there was no way we were going to build a pool, and I didn't get my fire pot. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Baystone Tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble, both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products, such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. So originally, this spa was going to match the size of that um, raised area over there. And it was kind of a balance of the spa would have been too small for what they were looking for because they wanted to have uh, at least six, possibly eight people in the spa. Um, but it was also a balance to be able to get a usable sun shelf in next to it too. So uh, this is what we landed on. On this spa, it's a large spa and uh, you know our average spa comes with about four jets. And uh, this spot, we had seven in them. So when you have more jets, you're going to have more difficult issues from, because water is working against air, air is working against water. And that's what gives you that, that jet uh, sound and that, uh, the jet that goes against your back when you're sitting in there for therapeutic reasons. But this one, we had a couple issues. Uh, like the homeowner said, you know, I was out here for a couple hours, you know, we stand behind our products no matter if we lose money. It's all about taking care of the customer. You know, the number one thing that I've learned from my father in business is take care of the issue first, worry about the money later. And that's what I try to portray to everyone in our company. Take care of the customer first, worry about all the other stuff later. And with this, you know, I was frustrated. Uh, I thought I could be able to get it working 15, 20 minutes, but and I didn't stop until I got it, and that's how, again, I teach a lot of everyone at Superior is you don't stop when it gets hard. You keep going until it's done and it's done the right way. So, you know, I appreciate the homeowners recognizing that. You know, that means a lot. I try to make everyone happy. So, but just looking at this pool, being at this pool after the fact, it, you know, it just, it makes me happy just to be here and see all this. And that landscaping's real nice. So that must be your buddy, uh, Rob, at MRT. Yeah. And they do a wonderful job, MRT. Uh, you know, they tie everything in with the atmosphere of the pool and it, you know, it looks like it goes and it's really nice. Regarding the uh, design of the pool, originally when we went to Ben, uh, I had done some sketches where we had the spa about the same size as that elevated area over there where we wanted the plants. But uh, after speaking with Ben, uh, we also wanted a larger spa. He said, you want your larger spa to be the focal point with the nice bright tile and just have that a little bit smaller, the elevated area over there. 
where you can put your plants, but really your eye comes toward the spa. Because during the day, your focal point is the spa. But during the night, when you have the light, when you have the fire bowl on, then all of a sudden your focus is over towards that fire right. bowl. Because it's just so beautiful at, at nighttime. Well, Ben was really beneficial. At first, we were just gonna do a small spillway uh, over the spa and he said why don't you expand it to be all the way around virtually all the way around because you already had the scuppers and the water bowl for your water features you really don't need a small spillway you know so this is kind of a subtle thing and the water just kind of trickles down oh so you can hear it yeah and it's you can hear the trickling and then something else that was really cool that turned out really nice is making this spillway uh much wider uh so you didn't necessarily get the spill because we didn't need it with all the other water features, but you get that nice trickling water over the edge. It's just really, really serene. Now, what uh, what is that spillway? That It looks like something different, but it's pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah, so this is something that, that's a little different than what we would normally do, too. You know, normally you would carry the tile along that edge, um, but we did we did the travertine coping along that edge, so it gave it just a little bit of a bullnose and, and really tied everything together with that. So this travertine coping is the same that's on this edge over here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just looks a little darker because it's wet. Um, and when it's wet, it pulls the color out of it a little bit more. And you know, that's something else that's a little different. You know, a lot of times when we're picking colors for tile and things like that, everybody wants a blue, blue water, blue tile. And it, it's kind of just blue, blue, blue everywhere. This, this pool, it balanced everything out really nice because we have a lot of the copper tiles. Um, now, watercolor definitely plays off of your tile so it's something to think about that's why we went with a bluer plaster on the interior of the pool to still give it a really nice blue water but be able to use the rusty color tile around the pool yeah because your watercolor you know goes off the back of your house it goes off a lot of things so we always suggest if you want that bright blue the only way and the safest way to get that is to go with the bright blue finish and it gives it that it gives it that really clean, refreshing, inviting look. And that's also um, this plaster that we use. In Again, here. what is this? This is the Hydrazo plaster. So it's that polished marble glass and plaster, and it gives it a really smooth, almost buttery smooth finish to the bottom of the pool. It's really nice on your feet, um, just really comfortable. You know, a big downfall to a pebble, which a lot of people use and is a great product, but it's rougher. And so, like, it'll pull on bathing suits. It'll rub on your feet. Uh, this plaster is a very smooth finish and still gives you strength and longevity that you get from the pebble. So when people come over to visit and they, the first time they walk and they see this, they're just, some people are just in awe of how beautiful the pool is. And, and the first thing they do ask is they do ask who built the pool. You know, who, and, you know, and then they ask other questions about the process it took for us to get it. You know, how long did it take us to build the pool? And then, and then they ask about all the different textures because mm -hmm. when, when you go into other pools, it's a little rough on the bottom of your feet. And that's probably why we end up here last because the, the bottom surface of the pool is so smooth and it's very, very comfortable on your feet along with the travertine. And that's why I went to the travertine because I have issues with my feet from rheumatoid arthritis and I needed something that wasn't rough. Yeah. But yeah, regarding the wall, again, we wanted kind of a classic look and I got that with the, with the stone on the wall. But Debbie wanted something a little bit more modern just to kind of, like she said, to make it pop. And we've kind of got this modern and the classic look and we think it's a really good match. I mean, when we were looking, you know, matching all these tiles in the in the showroom type of thing, it was great because Ben would help us give us some recommendations. And then uh, Danielle came and she gave her opinion. And it was just kind of a several opinions because you never quite trust yourself because you're going to be stuck with this tile for a long time. It's nice to get other opinions. And they had several, you know, other workers, employees from the business come in and give their opinion. And we really appreciated that. I really like the way the tile turned out on this pool because you have, just like uh, the homeowners were talking about, you have this really classic travertine split face on the raised area here and then you have a more modern glass tile on the spa and it just kind of is a good balance of new and old and, um, and ties it all together really nicely.
um, especially those rust colors in that in that tile over there. It, it really just pulls everything together. Yeah, your pool tile is totally different than everything else too. You know, you got the glass over there, then you got the split face here, and then you got the regular six by six. And uh, you know, a lot of times when you're putting it, that together on paper, you know, yeah, it might be too much. It might not turn out well, but you know, this is a masterpiece. Uh, I really like it. You know, it's not. It doesn't really. It's not too gaudy. It just goes together. It flows good, and that's what this whole pool does. Is just flows, just like that spillway. Just a nice, smooth, relaxing flow. I just fell in love with this. I love teal. I love the rust. And I knew it would look great with the, you know, with the pool and with the travertine. And I wanted it all around the edge of the pool too to just give it some splash. And so Ben, we didn't have enough. They only had so many cases and so they ordered more. And it came in and we get the phone call from Ben and he says, uh, he says, well, I got some bad news. And I went, oh, he said, it's the right dye lot, but it's a completely different color. Mm -hmm. But you might like it. So we went over there and I immediately did not like the blue. I wanted this teal, teal. and greenish, you know, that gave you that pop. And so now it's calculating, do we have enough to do the spa? And we had just enough to do the spa. Well, now you have the pool tile underneath. I don't know what they call that, a ledge tile or a waterline tile. Waterline tile. And it's now, what do you choose with that? The sample we kept picking, and I think we went through, what, two of them? What actually was delivered and what the sample looked like were two different things. And then, and then Ben said, hey, let's make this easy. Just go in, Look at all the tiles, you know, at where the main tile person is, and then let's go pick it up. And, and I decided, since I was the one picking it, instead of having them going back and forth, back and forth, I took the drive to pick it up. I actually took the piece with me from the sample store and went to the tile store to match it up. And I went, hallelujah, <laughs> I even got one that matches. We had second thoughts about doing travertine, that we thought we might go to, you know, just doing the brick pavers. Mm -hmm. But then the cost, you know, is a little bit more money, but in the end, it just is more comfortable on your feet. Right. And it's actually, it's, it's beautiful. And to me, if we had not done that, I, I think the pool would have a whole different look. To it. Right. So, and actually it was really Ben that convinced me <laughs> yep. to, to do the travertine. Yep. What's the colors of this uh, travertine that we got here again? Oh, yeah, so this is just a, this is an ivory travertine on the deck and a noche travertine around the coping. That was just kind of to set off this edge. Cause it, when you're looking for that like classic Roman feel to it, you really want those curved corners. Um, and this, ex it, it uh, makes them stand out. Yeah, because if you would have just went with the ivory as coping, it would have blended. You wouldn't have seen all these curves. You wouldn't have seen the design. So, exactly. again, that makes it flow with the spa. It's really nice. Again, it just continued with that classic look that we wanted with the wall and the travertine and the coping, the darker colored coping to set off the lighter colored travertine. It just ended up, as you can see, to be a great mix. Plus, we wanted a salt water pool. It was really important to us. And, you know, because everyone else has their chlorine. And I know salt water, you know, it, it does produce chlorine, but it isn't that pungent chlorine smell. And it seems to, to keep it cleaner and clearer. So a couple other things we wanted to touch on today was a few things that Deb had said about her rheumatoid arthritis was that the travertine was cool to touch and the hydrazo was nice and smooth as well. So that is really important if you have any medical issues um, to keep those in mind, things that are tangible and that could bother you. And this is a lifetime, remember, that you're investing in. So it's really important. Other than that, she also was discussing with me that there's some medication that weakens her immune system. And as a mom as well, we're really big on the clarity of the pool and the chemicals and what can help out with that. So Bee's gonna touch a little bit on what we did to make this pool especially friendly for weakened immune systems. Yeah, so that, so with the pool too, you know, thinking about all of the aspects because it is something that's going to be here for a long time 
and you're hopefully going to use it all the time. Um, so like the travertine being smoother, um, being cooler to the touch, also the hydrazo inside of the pool. Um, and as far as treating pools chemical wise, there's a lot that goes into that that people don't usually think about. Chlorine, other chemicals, acids that we use in pools are, are harsh chemicals. They're, they're really harsh chemicals. Um, and so there are other filtration uh, equipment that we can add to a pool to lessen the amount of chemical, the actual chemical we're using. So like on this pool, that's something that we did here. We used uh, UV, which is UV light that kills bacteria and ozone. Basically what it does in a scenario like this is you're going to get the same cleaning effect and filtration effect with less chemicals. So for people who are sensitive to chemicals or sensitive skin or people with a lot of allergies, this is, these are great products and it's something that you want to talk to your pool builder about because they should be able to help you out and, and you know we can always, we like to think about things like that when we're building the pool. Absolutely, like he said, you know, as a mom, not even just talking about Deb, my son has severe allergies and we have everything you can think of on the pool to make sure and ensure that there's gonna be no sensitivity issues for when they go in the pool. And remember again, like we had said a thousand times, this is a lifetime investment. So really do your research as the Wachowski said that they did lots and lots of and make sure that you're getting everything that you want. Stay tuned for more Home Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools. Superior Pools of Southwest Florida have been building pools in Florida since 2001 and have constructed over 5,000 pools. From Sarasota to Naples, we are recognized as a top pool builder and number one in customer service and have been voted to have the number one pool in the world the last two years. A pool signifies relaxation and our superior designs and execution will provide you with true luxury living. Visit our Fort Myers office, serving Lee to Collier counties, or our Port Charlotte office, serving Charlotte to Manatee counties. Join the rest, build with the best. Contact us to start building your dream pool today. Based on tile, Tampa Bay's largest selection of natural stone. Specializing in travertine and marble, both for interior and exterior use, with over 20 million square feet of revolving stock, we're sure we have your project covered. Check out one of our exclusive products, such as tiramisu. Travertine, your ideal pool deck material, does not retain heat. Therefore, it's cool on your feet during those hot Florida months. Durability? Remember, it will outlive us all. Check out our newly renovated showroom in Orlando or our brand new 100,000 square foot showroom and warehouse in Tampa. Enjoying the outdoors is what living in Florida is all about. And at Absolute Aluminum, we're in the business of making your outdoor living dreams a reality. We can transform your space into a stunning retreat with open view cages, adjustable pergolas, outdoor kitchens, and many other products. Everything we do is completely custom, maximizing your space to fit your project with our extensive design capabilities. Contact us today or visit our showroom located in Venice, Florida. Um, something that people run into a lot down here is with Florida lots, there's not a whole lot of space on our lots. You, you have about enough room for a pool and then with a nice lanai, by the time you have all these door walls and window walls, which is what a lot of these houses focus on is to get you a natural light and view of the backyard, there's not really always a great place to put an outdoor kitchen if you wanted to. So with this one, we incorporated uh, a section of comp roof and this is composite material it's fully insulated and um, it's aluminum finish on both sides and then you can also incorporate things like fan beams and things like that to make it feel more like a truss lanai but to give that little area where they're going to build a nice outdoor kitchen and try and wrap around some sort of island area around the post here and just give it you know just take this whole area to the next level it would be really nice the, probably the biggest thing that B helped us out with was the comp roof. Because we had talked about how we wanted to do uh, an outdoor kitchen eventually, but I really didn't want to do it within our enclosed patio area or uh, lanai area. So um, he's the one that recommended, well, right. why don't you do a comp roof right. with a fan in the center? Right. And eventually that will be our uh, outdoor yeah. kitchen. We haven't quite gotten to that yet, but. It'll come hopefully soon. But yeah, it just gives us a little extra area away from the cupboard lanai, a little bit of extra space to do an outdoor kitchen. We took a lot of time. We did go to a lot of different pool companies. 
and Mike took his design to <laughs> to and Mike kept tweaking the design and um, when we went to other companies we just just didn't get the 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 feel that we wanted and 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 it just and some of them were a little more difficult to work with. They weren't, weren't real quick to respond to you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, believe it or not, we saw, superior, we saw a superior truck in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we decided to do superior. And then we found, the first time I walked into the office, I saw the University of Michigan sitting on the wall. And I knew that this was probably our place because I'm a Michigan, <laughs> Michigan grad. And they're from Michigan. And I really just think Midwest people who live down here understand the Midwest thought process. And we had a lot of tweaking we had to do because we ran into, you know, you always, I don't care what pool company you go with, you're always gonna run into some issues. But at least every time we had, had, had an issue, it was overcame with suggestions and it turned into this beautiful pool. Right. Our recommendations for building a pool, uh, being again from Michigan up north, we really didn't have the knowledge base to, uh, you know, to really start. So I did a lot of research online. Uh, Debbie always says I over-researched the heck out of everything. But, you know, you read a lot, read about the products, uh, see what different companies were, are offering. That's important. Yep. Yeah. You know, bring in a lot of pictures. Your design is, is critical, obviously. Uh, and once the pool is dug and the gunite goes in, and you can't change it. So be happy with the design, uh, you know, make your final decision. And again, just do your research and be ready. As Mike said, what, check, 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 and recheck. <laughs> and then dig. <laughs> and that's exactly, you know, what we did. And, even, and Superior was very patient with mm -hmm. that too. And yeah. was very patient with Mike and all of his research. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, again, you know, ask a ton of questions. If somebody doesn't want to answer your questions or give you the answers, look for another pool company. Yeah. Ben and Superior were, again, very, very helpful with that. Uh, they didn't pressure us any, into anything. We took our time and it turned out to be a great result, as you can see. We're just so appreciative for you giving us our oasis in our backyard that we get to love every day and and I'm so thankful that you you made the process smooth and and quicker than I ever thought it would ha happen <laughs> and I, I'm just so thankful thank you I mean like you, absolutely thanks you guys so much yeah. Danielle too, for allowing us to thank you thank you, you. Right. Thank you. We appreciate right. it <laughs> Appreciate it. Was great. it. Yeah. And uh, the pool fun. turned out awesome. Yeah, too. it really did. Uh, go blue. <laughs> go blue. <laughs> if you're interested in having a pool built by Superior Pools, please visit www.superiorpools.com. Sweet Home presented by Superior Pools would like to thank our sponsors.